The first major law impacting retirement savers is now in effect. The SECURE Act took effect January 1st, and that means big changes for anyone with a 401k or IRA. Here to talk more about this is Michael Neuenschwander with Outlook Wealth. I'm glad you're here to talk about it because I keep yeah. hearing about the SECURE <laughs> Act, but still trying to figure out what it means. What yeah. is it in the first place? Well, they, they call it the setting every community up for retirement enhancement. Mm. So since they go by SECURE. It, well, it sounds simple. positive, is it? <laughs> well, it says it touches everything from IRAs to 401ks to even how you pass your money on. But there's definitely some good points in it. Mm -hmm. So one of the first ones, required minimum distributions. That was a rule that under the old law said at age 70 and a half, you had to start taking money out of those retirement accounts. But because they realize people are working longer, mm -hmm. in some cases people are living longer, they push that back to 72. So that's a couple more years of keeping the money growing versus having to take it out. All right. How does that affect our IRAs? Well, on the IRA side, under the old rules, once you turn 70 and a half, you could no longer put money in. It's just off limits. Mm -hmm. Under the new rules, if you're still working, that says a couple today could actually save 14000 more into retirement, get the tax deduction this year. Where simply three weeks ago in 2019 that wasn't allowed. All right, what about 401k? So big changes on the 401k front though. There are in some enhancements to it. So what it says for small businesses, they're actually giving some tax incentives to try to get more small businesses to offer a 401k mm -hmm. to their employees. But also, they're trying to, they changed the rules so that people that were part-time that maybe couldn't contribute before, mm -hmm. now more will be eligible. And then last, they put in additional provisions for, for the uh, investments within the 401k, trying to set up lifetime income or annuities so that once people retire, they don't have to worry about outliving their money. Now, how will it affect birth? and adoptions. So in that case, they also allow up to 5000 to come out in the to help pay for those expenses. Okay. Now, now, to be clear, they're waiving the 10% penalty. The money is still going to be taxable. Okay. All right. Now, what about the way you inherit money? Because it sounds like this is getting a little confusing. How, how will that work? So for, so for all the pros we just mentioned, mm -hmm. all the good things, there is a little bit of a downside, and that has to do with inherited IRAs. So if you were thinking you were going to pass your IRA on to kids, or if you were in a position where thought maybe you were going to get some from your parents, mm -hmm. under the old rules, you were allowed to leave, leave that money invested it your entire life. Just take out a little bit at a time. Under the new rules, they force you to take all the money out within 10 years, which in reality, that means you have to take more out sooner, which is going to bump your tax bill. And so, like I said, as much as the government gives, they're taking some back in that regard in the form of higher taxes. At the end of the day, what do we need to make sure that we know and understand yeah. about all of this? So for those people that were part-time part or wanting to contribute to the 401k, probably the first step is go talk to your HR department, say, when is your company actually going to implement these changes uh -huh. so that you can participate in the 401k. On the other hand, if, you, if you're a little older, closer to that 70 and a half, those required minimum distributions, or if you're looking to say, well, I was planning on leaving the IRA to my, to my kids or grandkids, you need to sit down with either your tax preparer, your financial advisor, and say, how do these laws really change my plan? Mm -hmm. And so that's important when we talk about having a plan for sure. retirement, not just investments, but it's the taxes, all these other things we just mentioned as well. I'm so glad you know all this and put us in the know. Thank you for that. Thank you. I think I got it. But if, if I, I'll, I'll have I'm to here if you need help. some help if not.